Right now at midday, the U.S. economy and consumers nationwide breathing just a little bit easier. Yeah, those port workers are back on the job today. John Lawrence reports. We're very excited to be back. It will once again be smooth sailing at the U.S. ports along the east and Gulf coasts. Dock workers are going back to work. P.O.P. People of the profit. Less than a week after the walk-off started, the International Longshoremen's Association and the U.S. Maritime Alliance issued a joint statement Thursday saying a tentative deal has been reached. The union agreed to extend its contract with the Maritime Alliance to January 15th after it expired Monday. The agreement includes an annual $4 per hour raise for the six-year contract. It means that they can, they can provide, put food on the table, pay their bills. They don't have to worry anymore, possibly losing their cars or their homes or anything like that. An outstanding issue, according to the statement, is restrictions regarding the use of fully automated equipment in the workplace. Robots don't pay taxes and they don't put food on your table, so it's very important to protect these jobs. President Joe Biden released a statement applauding the tentative agreement, saying, quote, collective bargaining works and it is critical to building a stronger economy from the middle out and the bottom up. Next 90 days, we're going to settle everything. The tentative deal still needs to be completed and ratified by ILA rank and file members before it's set in stone. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Of course, this agreement has a big impact on the port of Savannah in Georgia and an impact nationwide. A one-week strike would have cost the U.S. economy just over $2 million.